All right, uh, let's talk about the weather today. Uh, the new sunshine, the new sunshine's out, <laughs> there you uh, go. and it's going to be around for a while. But it's not as hot, perhaps, as it could be or oh, has yeah, been. Oh yeah, not at all. Now for July, we should technically this time of the year be in the mid 90s. We're going to be about five degrees shy of that today. So I'll take it. It's it's better than nothing, right? Uh, temperatures running a little bit below average. We'll get to that in just a moment. I want to show you satellite and radar. We have had some shower and storm activity that's mainly been south and east of Dallas Fort Worth. Had a couple of showers to uh, impact our southeastern zones this morning and still a little bit of spotty rain back around Fairfield that's moving off to the north and east. The rest of us dry, lots of sunshine and a lot of warmth as well. So as we move on through the day today, the past couple of days we've kind of been in this trend of some afternoon activity on radar. Expecting the same thing today, some showers and storms to pop. Uh, two, three, four o'clock, I would really expect that activity to, to start to develop. And especially east of I-35 will be watching. So yes, that will include the Metroplex, an area to watch for any afternoon activity. Here's the good news, no severe threat for today, just some heavy downpours, some lightning and gusty winds, your typical summertime storm uh, setup for today. Later on tonight will be quieter as the sun goes down and temperatures will drop back into the 70s. Now, speaking of temperatures, looking back, of course, we are now in July. Back in June, all of these days in blue, days below average. We had 16 days below average on our temperatures. We were above average for rainfall. We got over four inches of rain, so a very wet month, which really did impact our temperatures. Temperatures and it benefited us in the fact that we had temperatures a little cooler. It wasn't quite as tough of a June for us to take here in North Texas. And as we start July, that trend will continue below average temperatures. We've got 85 right now in Dallas, 83 Fort Worth. Still, though, the heat index is a big playmaker for us, feeling like 90 in Dallas. So, yes, even though temperatures are below average, it will feel like mid 90s today when you factor in that humidity that is going to stick around. And it sticks around through this week. Take a look. Tuesday, mostly a dry day. Wednesday, as we get close to the 4th of July, I know we start to get those activities going on, festivities for the holiday. We will be watching for about a 20% chance of isolated storms Wednesday, up to about a 30% chance on Thursday. And I do think by the time the sun goes down Thursday, our storm chances go down as well. So all in all, I think we're going to be okay for that forecast. But as you're trying to make those plans, here's kind of what we're thinking. Rain chances go up for late afternoon, evening on the 4th, and then they will start to uh, diminish as the sun goes down. Today's forecast, 89, 30% chance of rain, rain ending this evening. And the extended forecast, it is heating up for next weekend. Russ?